In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play offense like a pro in Madden 22. Over the past couple years, the Madden community at a professional level has had one thing in common. Almost all of the best players in the world, ranging from Drini, Skimbo, Dubby, and even most recently Henry, have relied on one formation to consistently help them move the ball up and down the field, and that is Gun Bunch. In this video, I'm gonna give you a five play mini scheme that's gonna help you play like one of the best players in the world out of the formation Gun Bunch. Now this scheme is very powerful. In fact, when we finished going through the plays and all the setups, I'm gonna be showing you a gameplay of me using this in a Mutt head-to-head -head seasons game. And if you like what you see here, and as a special thank you to all of you who have followed this YouTube channel all year round, I've posted this entire scheme for free on winmadden.com. Now a couple important notes before we get into the setups. First, this is a very pass heavy scheme. Your quarterback needs to have gunslinger, pass lead elite, or set feet lead to increase the pass velocity in all throws. Now, bunch can be found in many different playbooks throughout this game, but in this video, we're specifically going to be focusing on the bunch out of the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. Next, and this might seem a little weird, we're going to be running our bunch to the short side of the field. And finally, our audibles are going to look like this with the play flood, halfback base, clear out SE out, and verticals. And with that, let's get into the setups. All right, guys, the first play that we're going to look at is the play Bunch Trail. Now, this is one of the best plays in the game when it comes to bombing cover two. Now, you're going to notice on defense here, we are sitting in a cover two. So if you have an opponent that likes to run a lot of cover two, or you think might be in a cover two based on their alignment, this is absolutely a play to go to. Now, you can just come out and snap this ball, stand in the pocket, and just wait for that X receiver to become open right over the top for an easy one play score. However, as you noticed, we started getting a little bit of pressure there. So you need just a hair of time to be able to throw this. So what I like to do, if I've got an opponent that's running a lot of cover two defense, I will come out and I will block my running back and then I will snap this ball as quickly as possible after that, just giving myself a hair more time, allowing me to throw an easy one play score against cover two. Now we're gonna look at the play inside cross, and this is one of my favorite man-beating plays in the entire game. Now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put B on a flat route. That's gonna be our entire setup. Now, essentially what's gonna happen here is we are going against man defense, so if you go against somebody who likes to run man, this is a great play to do so. And what is gonna happen is our Y receiver, our running back, and our RB receiver are going to put the user in conflict. The user is going to have to guard one of them. And whichever one the user guards, we're just going to throw to the other one. That's how easy this read is and all you have to do on this play. So we're going to snap it. Let's say they guard Y. Cool. We're going to throw to RB and we're going to be able to rack that up the field for an easy 10-15 yard gain. Again, a super annoying route combination if you're playing man defense. So let's do the same thing again. Let's put B in a flat route. And let's pretend the user goes and guards RB. Well, that's wonderful. We're going to throw to Y now, and he's going to beat his man, and we're going to be able to gain nice yardage right there. But inside cross, one of the best man beaters in the game. The next play we're going to look at is clear out SE. Now, this is a universal beater. This will beat any defense in the game. And all we're going to do is we're going to put RB in a flat route or RB in a drag route. We're going to put Y in an in route, and we're going to make the read. Now, what's so good about this play is the tight end route. That tight end, especially if you have a tight end that is decent route running, Everett does not, will beat man coverage every single time. Now, we're also going to have RB that beats man. We're going to have Y that beats man. And they're also going to find great spots against zone defenses as well. Now, I'm going to first show this against man, and I want to show you how effective this is. So we're going to snap this. And you're going to notice that that A receiver will beat his man, and we're going to be able to rack that up the field for just a super annoying tight end route. A tight end getting that deep down the field and having his route beat man coverage is very, very difficult to defend. And then underneath, if the user decides that they're going to go guard that tight end route, then we've got this great mesh concept underneath where you're going to be able to throw RB or Y, rack it up the field, and get big yards. A super annoying route combination, especially because it's so different than what we've been doing in other plays. The next play we're looking at is the play Flood. Now this is, again, a universal beater. This will beat every single defense in the game, and I like to come out and quick snap this. So essentially what I'll do is I'll come out of the huddle, I'll put Y on a wheel route if I think it's any type of zone defense, and I'll put Y on an out route if I think it's man. Now we are sitting in a cover three here on defense, and essentially what we're gonna do, the first read is our tight end. If they do not have a hard flat on the field, we're gonna quick throw that tight end route, and we're gonna gain very, very good five to eight yards 
consistently. Now, if they do have a hard flat, we just hang onto the ball and we throw RB right behind it. It's very easy, very simple read, and it will dominate every defense, whether it's man, whether it's zone. Uh, as long as you're making the right read, you're going to be in great shape. So let's just snap this. You're going to notice no hard flat. Quick throw, rack it up, gain your ooh, break a tackle, you get 10 yards, but gain your five to eight yards just very easily there. Now, if they come out in a cover three and they've got hard flats or a cover two with hard flats, you're making the exact same read. Now, do they have a hard flat? They do have a hard flat. Great, we hang on to it for just a tick longer and you throw RB right along the sidelines for again, a 15 yard gain. Very simple. Now, if they happen to come out in some type of man, right? That's great about this play is if you do recognize it's man, first of all, you can put Y in an out route, and now you've got three routes that are just gonna torch man. You've got Y, X, and RB that will all beat man, and essentially you're just in a position where you can throw Y, you can throw X right here, right over the middle, or you could have thrown RB to the sideline for an easy man beater. So a great universal beater that you can go to at any time, kind of the Swiss army knife of plays, making it very, very difficult to stop you. Now the final play that we're going to come out in is of course the play verticals, the best play in the entire game. Now if we think they're in a zone defense, what we're going to do is we're going to put Y in a wheel route and we're going to quick snap this as fast as we possibly can. If you think they're in man for whatever reason, then I like to put Y on an out route just giving us an extra man beater, but again most of the time you're going to probably be thinking uh, zone defense when you go to vertical. So what's going to happen here, we are in a cover three on defense, is you are looking for the quick wheel routes first. So let me show this here real quickly. Your first read is a tight end. If they do not put a perfect vert hook shaded down and outside over there, you're going to be able to throw that tight end route every single time and they might go user it. If they go user it, then you're going to have the Y route on the backside on his wheel route. If they happen to guard both of those, you will then have RB on his deep crosser over the middle of the field. So let's snap this. You're going to have this tight end. You low ball this, and you're going to be able to complete that for an easy 15 to 25 yard gain over and over and over again against cover three and cover four. Now, if they happen to play hard flats or they go user that area, you know, you also have the running back on the backside. You can lowball that and complete it every single time as well. It looks close, but trust me, you're gonna have that every single time, don't worry about it. Now, the final thing here is if they happen to guard both of those, right? Let's say they do a phenomenal job or they confuse you and they're able to get both of them, then you're gonna have this RB receiver on his deep crosser and you're gonna be able to throw that on the sideline for a huge gain. This setup will work against cover three, cover four, cover two. It will even work against man defense. I'll show you this real quickly because these wheel routes don't actually get guarded by man. But I will say, if you know they're in man, I would put the Y receiver on an out route just to give you an extra for sure man beater. But let's just show this against man. Y is open, RB is gonna get open here, and we're gonna be able to complete that up the field for again, a very, very nice gain. I hope you enjoyed that mini scheme breakdown. Now we're going to hop into a game of mud head to head to show you how powerful the scheme can truly be. And again, if you want this full scheme, head over to winmadden.com. The scheme is completely free just to show appreciation to everybody who has supported this channel over the last year. All right, I'm going to break down this gameplay and you, you can see here, we're going to get the ball first, which is going to set us up very nicely to show you the power of the scheme and what it can really do. Now on the first play here, I did notice that they're probably in man defense and I'm making the read by looking at the cornerback on the right side. So I immediately go to the play flood. We have our RB receiver wide open on the sideline for a great start and an easy, easy first down. Now what goes through my mind is if somebody gets beat in a specific formation one time, they will switch and I happen to guess that they were gonna be in a cover two. They were in a cover two. We went to bunch trail, bombed them for a one play score and we get on the board quick and easily in this gameplay. I'm not going to show a lot of defense, but I do want to show this. Our opponent actually gets a touchdown uh, just because I did not get my play set up. I, I asked Madden, and <laughs> Madden shows a defense that we got bombed for a one-play score. And we're right back on offense. I'm reading man defense once again. I'm going to the play clear out SE out. I am reading man defense by looking at the cornerback on the right side. If you want to know how to do that, definitely go check out my video on how to read defenses. It'll help a lot, but we get an easy first down. Our opponent is a glutton for punishment, and he decides to keep running man. So we go to inside cross here. We put him in the blender, and we get out a huge gain to our RB receiver for another first down. Here we're reading cover three, so we go to mesh spot, which isn't in the mini scheme, but is in the full scheme, and we hit an easy dot to get us inside the five. 
Inside the five here, we go to another play that's not in the mini scheme, dig return, but again, a staple of gun bunch, giving us an easy touchdown at the back of the end zone and giving us a one touchdown lead. Here again, I'm not gonna show a lot of defense, but I had to show you this, Madden is Madden. Uh, this guy throws a post into double coverage and somehow his receiver comes down with it and he ends up tying the game. So we're now knotted at 14 and we go back on offense. So tied up, again, we're reading man defense. We're gonna go back to clear out SC out. Our opponent just wants to play man all day. Now he's dropping nine people into coverage. So we're just gonna take the underneath check down and take the yards. Again, our opponent is in man. We're gonna start utilizing motion. He's dropping so many people into coverage that we, we essentially need to find a way to just work somebody open. So nine people in coverage, we're still able to work a receiver open, get up the field for a huge gain, setting ourselves up for another score. Now here's something interesting I definitely wanted to include it in the gameplay. Our opponent starts coming out in essentially, I think this is a quarter's defense. And right now we're gonna to try to run the ball on him. It doesn't actually go that well. We gain a couple yards, but we've got something in store for him for the next play. Now I've gone ahead and subbed in an extra tight end. So if they come out in quarters again, we're just gonna audible to a run play. And because they're in quarters and we've got a two tight end and running back formation, we are gonna get pancake blocks on everybody. And we waltz into the end zone for an easy score, giving us another seven point lead. On the next possession, our opponent's Madden luck starts to run out as our blitz gets home and we're able to force a strip sack and we get uh, Sharif Floyd to pick up this ball and get into the end zone for an easy touchdown, giving us now a two touchdown lead. We're now into the first possession of the second half. Our opponent down two touchdowns, still sticking around, but we're continuing to send the heat. We wanna make sure that this opponent has to make quick reads and we get home on fourth down, we get the ball back and that forces our opponent to quit out, giving us the win. Now this scheme is powerful, but it's only the first step in becoming a truly better Madden player. The next thing you need to do is learn how to read defenses pre-snap. And in this video, I show you exactly how to do that to take your game to the next level.